Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shika Goel, illustrator, and it's time to level up your illustration. So, in this episode of digital illustration on Coral Draw, we are going to learn how to power clip different objects. And power clipping is basically important in illustrations, as if you want to insert different different prints on different different garments. or you have developed any motif or any print or any tag line so how will you insert it in a garment that is very very important to know so here is the tutorial for the same and you have to watch it full for the better learning but before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe like share and keep supporting in the previous video i have also taught you guys how to know how to learn draping on crocky and that is very important part of fashion illustration if draping will not be correct then your illustration will definitely go wrong so yeah watch my previous video if you are new to my channel then do watch my previous video for digital illustrations as i have uh, uploaded my episodes on topic wise and from the basics crocky development then flats then how to drape it on a crocky and then today we are going to learn power cl clipping how to develop print and how to insert that in our crocky so yeah let's get started hold on so here is is what we have done in the previous session so for the power clipping what you have to do is firstly let's just let's just do one thing delete all the color that we have done so far let's just remove the color remove 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 so i let you know firstly how the power clip works so if this is a print and this is a rectangle okay not re rectangle let's take another shape if we are taking a circle so we have to select the object then we have to go on effects effects power clip and place inside container which is this this is the container on which we need to place it so okay let's what we did is edit contents and make it to wherever on the circle you want or if you want to just make it size bigger or smaller then right click and finish editing this label and it's done so again let's just check edit contents if you want to change the sizes you can then again finish editing this label if you want to just extract this so right click extract content and ta -da. so this is the technique that we need to follow in this whole illustration so starting from so uh we are replicating this dress basically the drapery is done by this referred image so you can search for check fabrics black and white check fabrics on google or your internet so whatever fabrics are coming whatever is the outcome you need to select the one so i have selected this picture because i think this this picture is very much uh, inspired from this one also uh, you can create your own but we will talk i will taught you that in the next session so this is the referred picture first of all let me just remove the crop it to remove the watermark and let me make the replica of it at least two three replica of it all right so the first one go to effects power clip place inside container and go to the skirt so agar aapko dikh nahi raha hai kahan gaya hamara jo bhi humne fabric choose kiya hai so 
don't no need to panic just right click edit contents and you'll get to know ki where is your fabric where is your object that you are you were about to insert so let's do finishing this finish editing this label and done so if you are thinking that this print this print is very much larger you need to just uh, uh decrease the size so let's do one thing extract what you need to do is extract contents and here better to remove another ones also why because if you will just to select one and then uh, decrease the size then select another decrease the size so there will be more chances of of differences in the size so we do no uh, we don't want to create the difference in sizes so let's just do it in once and then make the replica like that so now selecting one and going to effects again power clip place inside container edit contents and let's see where is your fabric here finish editing this label done then coming on to this part and effects power click place inside container and let's see where has it gone here finish editing this label selecting again effects power clip place inside container and let's see edit contents finish editing this label so here let's replica make it replica effects power clip place inside container oh i did it on the same again let's do control z effects power clip place inside container and this is the container added contents and move towards here finish editing this label cool again effects power clip place inside container and this flap make sure you just power clip in each and every flap there should be none remaining finish editing this label and uh, you can just add it if you think the black content is if you want to just drag or i want so i'm doing it Ta-da! And this is done. This is how we will do our draping. So, if you want to export it all with Crocky, or you want to uh, just make it this much only, it's totally, totally up to you. Whatever you want. This is the easiest method of power clipping and draping. and is very useful for your further illustrations power cl clipping is the important part so yeah you need to keep your command on three things firstly power clipping if you are adjusting the sizes of print so just do it in once only and then make it replica another thing edit contents extract if you want to extract that don't edit and then delete don't do that simply click on extract content the content will um, automatically uh, get deleted or extracted so this is the three four things that you need to keep in mind and do practice at home ghar pe practice karo jitna zyada ho sakta hai try this on different different garments and yeah give me your reviews on comment section thank you so much for watching keep supporting me and do subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and stay tuned thank you